Hey everybody, come on in. It's me. I'm showing my face this afternoon. I've been out in the park volunteering. It was um, Sunday in the park days. This summer is a, it was an event to culminate the summer activities for the Arts Council. So I went and did my civic duty. I volunteered down there at the Arts Council. Something I love, love, love doing. So if you have the opportunity to volunteer to do something in your community, do it because it will give you something to do first of all and most of the time when you volunteer you're doing something to help someone so I went and volunteered my two hours and now I'm back here in the kitchen I did I finished off Tanya's centerpiece so now I'm getting ready to do us a, a real simple dinner today I'm going to be doing um, some stir fried beef and peppers and rice and I'm going to make some cheese rolls and some slaw and that's going to be it because it's been a Quite an eventful day today, um, but anyway, y'all know I love uh, flipping, flopping all over the place, doing things, especially when it helps out and when it makes sense. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera the other way now. We're gonna get the camera going on the stove so that we can start cooking, and y'all can see what I'm gonna have for dinner today because the flavor train will be rolling in here shortly. So hold on a minute for me. Hey y'all, come on in again. I'm back. I got the camera turned the other way now. Now I'm getting ready to uh, get my uh, veggies chopped and prepped for my stir fried beef and peppers and rice. Okay, so this is going to be a real quick and easy meal today. Just like I said, I've been out and about already today, but we got to eat some food. So, you know me, I have to make sure I'm mature and have something to eat. Anywho, I'm just going to let y'all watch me while I do all the prep work. Sous Chef did pretty good today. Got everything all set up for me. And y'all know I chop right here on the countertop. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm getting my onions and bell peppers all ready. Um, and I'm, today I'm making it really, really easy. Of course, I had to cook the rice. I already got the rice on cooking. Um, so it, it'll be done here shortly. And I'll get it cooled down so we can just... And really, uh, it's going to be more of a toss and mix a stir fried rice today so the biggest thing that's going to be stir fried here today will be the peppers and onions because i bought the um beef that was already cooked it's the fajita beef that you use uh, when you're making fajitas but i kind of like that beef because they use angus beef and it's good beef it's already seasoned has a really 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 good taste for it to it so you know if i like it and it's seasoned uh if i like the season rather it's seasoned pretty good. So like I said, this is going to be one of those fun, quick, and easy meals. You can make it any day of the week, but just so happens this is going to be our Sunday dinner meal. Okay, so first of all, what I'm doing here, you see I got two large onions and I had part of another one left. And I've got the equivalent of uh, one large uh, green pepper. I'm going to go ahead and I got my um, skillet over here getting hot. Because I have to put oil in it. And of course, my usual seasonings will go in. Um, of course, you know, I already told you, you know, when you're cooking stir fry of any kind, you need that skillet real good and hot so that the, oh, so it won't uh, start getting a lot of water vapor in it. Okay, now as soon as I find the oil, I'm going to pour the oil in there. I don't know who snuck in here and bothered my oil. I guess the oil bandit wants to have it. Have you ever just sit something somewhere? Because I'm going to confess one thing to y'all. I lost a huge container of black pepper right here in the kitchen. I promise y'all. Now, unless I threw it in the trash, I have no clue where it is. So now I'm going to have to go to the other part of the kitchen and try to dig out my uh, cooking oil because I need the cooking oil. So that I can go ahead and start sauteing these veggies. So hold on just a minute for me, y'all. Found my cooking oil, y'all. Guess where it was? It was in the refrigerator. I know exactly when I put it in there. When I was uh, doing something last night and I was putting stuff away. So stuck the cooking oil in there. So anyway, it's going to take a few minutes for it to get heated up like I like for it to be heated up. And meanwhile, I'm just going to get these things out of the way. Get this ring off. Mix my hands again, and I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping the veggies for the rice. So, hope you all have been having a great Sunday afternoon as I've had. I've enjoyed my Sunday so far. Like I said, I've been out volunteering in the park. 
it was 86 degrees today here. I mean, unusual, I think, for October. Usually it's a little bit cooler, but it was 86 here today. So anyway, we're just not, I'm, the way I'm going to chop this onion today, I like my little bitty knife. It's much easier. I'm just going to cut it like this, switch it over on that side, and just cut it. And then we got some nice pieces like that. And as the, the oil gets hot, I'm going to go ahead and start adding it. This is a real simple process, y'all. Just make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. And when it gets too short, see how I just flip it on that other side? Real simple, y'all. This piece here is already cut, so we're just going to cut it like so. So this is for my people who are beginners. I know you experts are trying to figure out why I'm going through all this. Well, I'm going through it because there are some people um, who might benefit from this, okay? Y'all know me. I like to share everything when I'm in the kitchen. Because after all, that's why I like to get on here. Because I like um, like for you to know everything that I know. And when that cookbook of mine comes out, y'all, it's coming, y'all. Um, I want you to not just be able to read the recipes and what they say. But I want you to know how to put them together. I want you to feel comfortable with chopping, slicing, boiling, frying, you know, frappe and whatever you're doing to it. And to any, like anything else, there's a technique. I'm going to go ahead and put these, start these onions. Yeah, that skillet's hot enough for the onions. Go ahead and put the onions in so that they're out of the way. And I can go ahead and chop these green peppers. Okay. All right, and same thing with the green peppers. I'm just going to cut them in slivers. Uh, when they cook down, you know, they'll be okay. I, don't you just love when you're cutting stuff, you have the right knife and you got the right uh, cutting surface. And so I appreciate the fact that um, I do have that. Because I cook so much. You know, I told my husband when I first did this, uh, just about uh, hmm, it's been 10 years ago when I got this countertop put in. But anyway, at that point in time, I told him, I said, you know, it costs a little money. But it'll pay off, and you know, it's, it's 10 years, and I mean, it's, it hasn't cracked yet. I mean, it hasn't worn yet, and I can cut anything on it. I don't have to worry about Y'all know how I feel about cutting boards. Don't really like them. And because my kitchen is so small anyway, I love the idea of being able to cut right on my countertop. So, anyway, um, if you're cutting, you notice I'm, I'm going to use that little bit in there too. Uh, turn it this way, but turn it up like that, and it's easier to cut than like that unless you have a super sharp knife. So if you turn it that way, it's easy to hold it down and just slice right through it. Okay, get the nicest little slices out of there. Okay, and as you know, if you've noticed, I'm letting y'all watch me do this in real time. Usually I'll go ahead and saute and do all this stuff if I got a lot to cook, but this is a short meal today. So, there's my green pepper. I love using a spatula when I'm doing stir fry. I just love, love, love using the spatula. Spatulas just get done what I want to get done right quick and I don't have to worry about it. It has that flat surface and I use a metal spatula. I know a couple of you said that the noise sort of bothers you, but I'm sorry about that. I can check my rice out here. Yeah. This is three cups of rice. Okay. Three cups of, uh, well, like three and a half cups, because you know me, I, I, I use a, a heaping cup full. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you about three and a half cups of rice. And I'm going to use um, a couple pounds, no, a pound and a half of um, meat. And if it doesn't seem like it's enough, I got more. I got some uh, chicken, sliced chicken already in there that I can use. So, yum yum, please. Mm. Let that rice sit there on the heat just uh, another two or three minutes. Okay. So now the peppers and onions. Let's get the camera over here. <coughs> Moving right along. I've got my walk out today. This is a pretty good size walk. I think it's 
20 inches around. And all I'm doing here, y'all, is just, uh, I got it on high heat. I always keep my stir fry stuff on high, high heat. When that gets done, uh, enough, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open these, uh, This is a large bag of that Angus beef fajita meat. And I'm going to use it for stir fry. It has a wonderful flavor to it. It's quick and it's easy. Come back from there. So, uh, you know, it's not a lot of prep. I didn't have to do a lot of prep today uh, when I was thinking about what I wanted to cook for dinner. And I knew I was going to be out for a while. I thought, okay, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning up my onions just with some garlic powder. And this is my dry seasoning milk that I use on everything. It's the same thing as that complete seasoning. I just made it up myself. You will keep stirring it up. may have to add a little bit more of oil into it so it doesn't get too brown. About another fourth of a cup of oil in there. Those onions and peppers must be kind of thirsty today because they drink that other half cup of oil look like quick. When they start getting sort of wilty like then you go ahead and throw that meat in there. You don't have to put it in there too far ahead of time because the meat is already done. So that's the good thing about that. Um, and as you know, I use that uh, Gold Mountain Season. I'm going to put a dash of that in there. I've got some um, powdered beef seasoning. Since this is going to be a beef stir fry, just sprinkle those onions a little bit. Get those onions seasoned up real good. Remember now, this has got to uh, absorb into the rice. So I want all my sub ingredients. Seasoned up. You want to like say get these peppers and onions nice and tender and well seasoned, and then you throw that meat in there and take on that flavor. Then you throw the rice in, and it'll take that flavor on as well. Okay, so now this is my abalone sauce. I can't even remember. I think I've shared this with y'all. I can't even remember when I bought the abalone sauce. I think I bought it to test it, and I think it was a good. I'll uh, buy because I use it now all the time. You just stir fry those onions up in there real good. Now this dish I'm making here now. Three cups of cooked rice. That's quite a bit of rice. Okay. Add it to almost two pounds of uh, stir fry meat. That will make this wok full. And this will easily serve eight, ten people. But you know how my family eats it. Most of this will be gone by the time we get up from the table. So. But anywho, the other thing I'm going to fix to go along with, I don't know if I already told you, I'm going to do some coleslaw. That's one of my children. I, already, I can feel it. They're going to know, Mom, you can cook it. Let me go get them off the phone. Yep, honey. Hello? Hey! Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, I'm here. Just me, myself, and I. Oh, Kareem's up there. Mm -hmm. He's up there. He's hanging out with me today or hanging out at the house. He was not necessarily with me. Okay. See you when you get here, sure. Bye bye, buddy. Hey, that was Tony just checking in. Okay, now, just a little while longer. Oh my goodness. The flavor off of that is wonderful. Just a little few minutes long. And if I was telling y'all before I started that cooking 
I cannot find my black pepper, and I promise y'all, it's a huge, huge container of black pepper. I don't know where it is. I think the black pepper man, it must have came in and got it. Okay, well, the other peppers and onions, I'm saying, we're going to say 10 minutes on that. Okay, now, make sure that heat is still really, really hot. We got enough oil in there for right now. I'm going to go ahead and dump all my beef in there, okay? Y'all see how simple this is. No fanfare, y'all. And we're going to stir that uh, together like so. And get it all nice and mixed in and heat it up. Heat it all the way through. We're going to heat that through for about 10, 12 minutes. Um, once I get it all in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw me some butter off in there. And then I'm going to lower the heat because I need a small amount of liquid. Just a small amount now because we got to coat that rice. Remember, this is pure white rice. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw me three quarters of a stick of butter in there because I'm going to use the rest of that for my rolls. So, I'm going to let that butter melt. I'm going to lower the heat now. Go ahead and lower the heat. Because I see it's beginning to. Let me show y'all when to lower the heat. Okay. See at the bottom of that pan how it's starting to brown up. Now it's time to lower the heat. Because we don't want it to black and we just want it to brown up. And we want that uh, butter. Because you know butter will burn. So you have to lower the heat. And we're going to let this sort of simmer almost. But without getting a lot of liquid, I want a lot of liquid now because we, we don't want a uh, real juicy rice. We want it to be have a fried white rice effect. Okay. And I'll hit it with about another teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Keep it going now. And I will add my gold mountain seasoning when I put the rice in. That butter is still melting, so. I can turn it on medium high heat right now because the browning has process is gone past. I think I'm safe now. But you know, get it to the point where you can scrape that brown goodie off the bottom. Okay. Yummy y'all, yummy. This smells absolutely amazing. Whew. Hallelujah, that smells good. Mm. So we're going to enjoy this meal today. Not a big, big meal, but plenty of it. And something different. So I'm going to let that sort of cook there a little bit. I'm going to go off camera and get set up to get my coleslaw done. So hold on just a sec. I'm back. I'm ready. I got my coleslaw sp space set up. This rice is hot, but it's fine. And I'm going to start adding it. Like I said, this is quick and easy breezy. Easy breezy. Now, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the heat from under that stir fry pan because that meat is all cooked. And oh, I didn't even realize Kareem was outside. Lord, I thought he was upstairs. Yeah. Anywho, just keep stirring it from the bottom because we don't want nothing to stick. We don't want to leave nothing in this pan but the pan. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of that butter down. I need that moisture in the bottom of that pan. Even though I've turned it off, I still want that little moisture in the bottom. And I just have to watch it so it doesn't burn. Okay. Let's keep it going. I've almost got all the rice in there now. And I didn't cook this. I cooked the rice al dente because I already knew it was going to cook a little bit more once it got into the... Uh, once I started my mixing process. Okay, now it's time for my Gold Mountain seasoning. So, we're going to do a couple of tablespoons of Gold Mountain seasoning in there. And this is all that Asian Oriental taste that we so love in our fried rice dishes. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is going just like I want it. Over here. You know what I think I am going to do? My stove, this is an electric stove, and I think I got one of the, the good ones. Because you know what? 
it heats up really really great that's a hot pan but that's okay these hands can take it let's clean that off um but anyway as i was saying about um both these are hot because i already used both of them so i can sit it right here in the center i sit right here in the center and you can still see so anyway i was trying to get that pan. i don't want it to continue cooking i just want it to stop cooking i don't want it to brown or cook anymore so turn everything off so now all i'm doing at this point of the procedure process instruction whatever you want to call it tutorial is just put the rest of this rice in here every drop of rice out that you can stick to the pan okay all that rice out there you know it bothers me to see some rice left in the pan so y'all know i'm gonna scrape every grain out that i can get out okay so i'm gonna put a little bit more of um there goes his, let's see what child this is Y'all hold on a minute. Okay, y'all, I had to talk on the phone and continue cooking all at the same time. That was my favorite sister-in-law, so I talked to her. She's in Atlanta. So, here we go. The fried rice is done. It's looking good. It's tasting good. So, now we're going to get over here on the other side of the kitchen just shortly and get the coleslaw done. And this dinner, except for the rolls, will be ready. So, I, I got to clean up my mess here. So, then we'll come back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, here's what I'm going to do before I get this coleslaw going. I need some sauce to go over that rice other than just soy sauce. So, what I'm going to do, because pineapples go into the um, green coleslaw, I bought a can of crushed pineapple. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze all the juice I can, drain all that juice out of these pineapples. And I'm going to put that juice into my little rice mixture. I'm, and, and so far, this is that um, gyoza season. All that's gone, and that's good over rice. So what I put in there, I put some sweet soy sauce, some gold mountain seasoning, and some of the abalone seasoning. Just mix those three together. Uh, I put two, three tablespoons of sweet soy sauce, uh, a tablespoon of, of the uh, abalone sauce, and a tablespoon of gold mountain sauce. So, like I said, I'm squeezing all of the uh, juice out of the pineapple. And when I get it all squeezed out, I'm gonna pour it into this bottle. Yeah, I need my little funnel. Where's my funnel, y'all? There it is. Okay, other side of the room. It was on the other side of the room. There's my little funnel. And I'm going to pull that, uh, this is probably a half a cup, yeah, about a half a cup of pineapple juice. Ooh, perfect. Okay. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to shake it up to see if I need to add anything else. Oh, yeah. And see, rising to the top is oil. I put a tablespoon of oil in it. Actually, I'm looking for the top to the bottom but since I don't see it I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up see what it tastes like I don't think that's gonna be okay I'm not gonna even add so pineapple juice half a cup of pineapple juice um Three tablespoons of sweet soy sauce, one tablespoon of abalone sauce, and one tablespoon of gold mountain seasoning, and a tablespoon of uh, oil. So, I got me a nice little concoction there to pour over my rice. I'm just going to sit it out of the way so I don't turn it over. So, let's get these pineapples out of this container. Okay. I have no idea how many or how much of these pineapples I'm going to use in this coleslaw. So this is going to be my version of Caribbean coleslaw. This is coleslaw, you know, with pineapples in it is basically what it's going to end up to be. So I'm going to use 
uh, this bag of slaw mix. This is angel hair coleslaw mix. Okay, I got a. It's probably eight ounces. Okay, I'm gonna say eight ounces. Eight ounces there, which is about two cups. <clears throat> and then I had some southern coleslaw mix because I need to go ahead and use it. And I know this uh, this Caribbean coleslaw is good. Now this is a different, a little bit different. The slaw is a little bit different. It, it's it's uh, cut up different. It's, uh, cabbage, greens, and carrots. I'm gonna take these little big pieces out of there like that. You know, cabbage can be hard to chew. Okay, there we go. Just because I don't want them in there, I'm going to take them out. Okay. Put them to the side. Um, let's go ahead and get this other bag open here. Let's get my scissors. I thought I was going to be able to just tear right through. Y'all see how easy this meal is going to be today? Or how easy it is today? Make sure I got the camera on. Yeah, I got the camera on. So I'm going to just mix all this together. Um, we ate some Caribbean coleslaw just yesterday from Barber's. It was wonderful. So mine will be a little bit different because I'm putting, um, <clears throat> probably get a big enough bowl, but I, because I need to go and use this cabbage. Okay. Keep going to use it. I'm going to give Tanya half of this because she loves if she likes my version of the coleslaw, she'll take half of this slaw home. Okay, let's go ahead now because when I'm making slaw and stuff like this, I like to go ahead and get it all, all my ingredients in there at one time. And I think I'm going to have to get me a bigger bowl. Um, let me go ahead now and just get a bigger container. y'all other side of the room yeah this one's a little bit bigger so we're gonna just change containers here that's good that's a good deal there too Ooh, it too much. It was. it's a little bit wider not deeper but wider when i finish with it it'll be perfect to go back into here so i'm gonna use this was a 15 ounce can of uh pineapple and i'm gonna squeeze as much juice out of it as I can but I don't want it juicy you know coleslaw cabbage stuff like that it puts off a lot of water especially when that mayo hits it I'm gonna put a little sugar in it y'all know that stir that up real good stir it up stir it up y'all I'm gonna go ahead right now and add me a teaspoon of sugar to it. And the reason I'm not putting a lot is, you know, Miracle Whip is a little bit sweet anyway. But I already know it's going to need a little bit extra. So I'm anticipating maybe a little bit more than a uh, teaspoon. But we're going to reserve. Reserve. Sushi Chef didn't get all my stuff out. So we're going to sprinkle, we're going to hit it with a half a teaspoon of salt. And you know the salt is going to give it that little creamier taste. Buttery taste, if you will. I think I'm going to need all of that uh, pineapple. But we'll see. We shall see. You know what? It's not that much more left, actually. Mm -hmm. Not at all. So, uh, here we go, y'all. I'm going to go ahead now and start add adding the Miracle Whip. I don't know what the ingredients were. I just know what I felt like I tasted. Okay. Ooh, smells good. Wonderful. Pineapples and cabbage and carrots. It's pretty. Really, really pretty. And I think, you know, this kind of, of, of a salad, you know, obviously 
tomorrow it's going to taste better it's going to be cooled all the way down so, a little bit more salad dressing in there now y'all know i'm a hellman's and a food line mayo girl but this called for salad dressing okay Okay, hey, y'all. I got a little bit more pineapple left over. I'm going to taste it first. I don't want to get too much. Because, you know, pineapple has a very distinct, not necessarily a strong taste, but has a very distinct taste. And I've mentioned to say if you put too much, it'll take over. Okay. Um, It probably needs some celery seed in here, but I don't have any celery seed. Mmm, that's good. Yummy. Just a little bit more of that. A little bit more of that. Mmm, that's, that's nice and tangy. Good old tangy flavor to it. And that pineapple, whew, and mayo. Because you know what? I like pineapple salad, so this this is just right down my line. Okay, okay, let's do another little taste test. Mm. That's wonderful. I don't have anything to do. But that tea, that tablespoon of uh, pineapple. So I'm just gonna throw it right on in there. And I think it's gonna be all right. All right, all right, all right. That's really, really good. One thing I, that I think is missing is just regular mail. So hold on. I'm gonna do me a heaping tablespoon full of just regular mail. And see if it changes. See if it does what I want it to do. Real, makes it really creamy. Really, really creamy. That I need that other teaspoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. That pineapple was not real sweet. It was tart. So between the sugar and salt, which will the salt will cut it, give it the almost a buttery flavor, and the sugar will cut that vinegar sharp taste. Okay. So that is a bowl of nice creamy Caribbean coleslaw, my style. I think that did it. That did it, y'all. Okay. So, Kareem and Coleslaw. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to put my coleslaw back in my glass bowl, which is a serving dish. Now, by tomorrow, if you make this the next day, you're going to see the water start to form. Just take it and pour it in your colander and let it drain off. But for today, you can eat it just like it is. Good old creamy Caribbean coleslaw. And all we did had to do to it was add some pineapples to it. That's going to be really, really good with that uh, stir fry. 
Okay, so hold on, y'all. Oh, turn, turn the camera on, then I can talk. Okay, y'all, here it is. There's that uh, great, great beef and pepper fried rice. Tanya's messing with me. I'm going to hurt her back there. <laughs> Some nice, creamy Caribbean coleslaw. And I got the crescent rolls with cheese in the middle in the oven. So, for all practical purposes, y'all, this meal is finished. I'm going to end it right here. And Tanya wants me to hurry up. And I am going to eat. <laughs> now, I'm messing with her. Anyway, y'all, as usual, keep the prayers going up, y'all, and the praises so the blessings will continue to come down. So all the people that are being devastated by weather, tragedy, illness, or whatever, so those blessings will just continue to come down and flow and ease those burdens for us. Until I cook again, y'all, because the flavor train is pulling in. I'm going to say toodaloo. Love you guys. Bye now.